Hi everyone, my name is Nitin and welcome to PSLE Science where I'll be going through body systems. And I hope you have watched my previous videos on body systems as well. And this video of body systems, I'm actually going through all the body systems and summarizing it and how they work together. So let's move on. So in our first segment of this video, I'll go through our body systems. Let's take a look at it. So our body systems, there are actually five body systems in our body. Firstly, the digestive system. Secondly, the circulatory system. Thirdly, the respiratory system. Fourthly, the skeletal system. And finally, the muscular system. Okay, so I've actually already went through the digestive, circulatory and respiratory system in my previous videos. So the skeletal and the muscular system are new. So let's move on to the second segment of this video. Okay, in my second segment of this video, I'll go through how our body systems work together. Okay, let's take a look at it. So I'll actually go through this using a concept map. Let's take a look at the concept map. So first, the digestive system. So we eat food through our mouth, goes through our gullet, then the stomach, then the small intestine, then the large intestine, then to our anus, where the food will eventually be passed out. Okay, so now let's take a look at the next system. So here we have the circulatory system, and I hope you remember this diagram from my previous video. So if you still don't understand it, let me just recap, okay? So it starts at the lungs. So before this, we actually inhale air, okay? So it's oxygen. So this oxygen actually uh, mixed with our bloodstream. So there's in the bloodstream, there's actually oxygen. So this is the richest in oxygen, okay, in this area over here. And then it goes to our heart. And actually, this area is not as rich as this area over here because the heart actually uses some of the oxygen for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide because it needs energy to pump blood. Okay, so actually all our organs need energy, so they all respire. So when it gets out, this is lesser oxygen compared to this. And so now to the body. So here's where it connects with the oxygen. So this body, right, this circulatory system, after the whole process, actually gives out oxygen over here. And uh, the digestive uh, system actually gives out uh, digested food and carbon dioxide because you need oxygen and digested food to respire in order to give carbon dioxide and energy. Since the digestive system is actually giving us digested food, we don't consider this into the factor of respiration. So now, uh, this is what happens. Now let's move on to the next system. I hope you understand this. And it's the same thing over here as well. So the body, right, it uses some of the oxygen to respire and some of the digested food to respire and thus it is richer as carbon dioxide because it uses most of the oxygen because the body is not just inclusive of the digestive system it's inclusive of all the body parts so so it is richer in carbon dioxide but it's not as rich as that part over here because it goes back to the heart and the heart again uses some of the oxygen in order to respire to release energy in order to pump the blood and so this is the richest place of carbon dioxide and it goes back to the lungs where we exhale as carbon dioxide. So let's take a look at the respiratory system now. So the respiratory system over here, uh, so basically we inhale air, right? So this oxygen is going to the lungs over here because it goes from the nose to the windpipe to the lungs, okay? And this carbon dioxide over here, it comes from the lungs after the process is ended. So this carbon dioxide goes from the lungs to the windpipe to the nose and is exhaled as carbon dioxide into the surrounding air. So now let's take a look at the next system, which is the muscular system. So the oxygen and digested food from the circulatory and the digestive system goes to the muscular system and after respiration, it gives out carbon dioxide and energy. And the energy uses and carbon dioxide is given back to the circulatory system 
and go back to the lungs and back to the lungs over here into the windpipe then to the nose and is exhaled so you can see that all of these systems are so far linked together that is why it is very crucial for all the systems to stay alive in order for us to function properly if either one of these systems or either one of these organs are gone we can't function properly so uh, this is the same mechanism of a car uh, whether like a part is gone then the car wouldn't function properly uh, it's just like that and now from this the muscular system we can link back to the skeletal system okay so these two systems actually work together for movement okay because the skeletal uh, system actually have bones for movement and the muscular system actually have muscles that contract and relax so when the muscles contract the bones actually uh, can move and when the muscles relax the bones can't move okay so uh, it's not that they can't move but it's just that it's harder to move it so uh, it's, this is the concept map uh, where you need to know in order to like uh, in order for you to understand that all the systems are linked and they function together okay so now I'm going to go to my next segment of this video okay uh, before we move on you need to note the key process of respiration because uh, it is actually uh, in, involved in all of these places like over here respiration over here also got respiration all these places got respiration and when I'm going through the, the rest of the questions, you'll actually understand this further. Let's move on. Okay, so for our third segment of this video, I'll go through how the digestive and circulatory system work together. So we've already talked about how they work together, right? All the systems inclusive, how they work together. Now let me uh, show how separate systems, like a particular system work together using questions. So this question is very important. So the question is, how do they work together to transport digested food to different parts of the body? So let's take a look at the answer. So the answer is that the digestive system breaks down food into simpler substances, okay? Which are absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream, okay? So I've explained the part for digestive system. Now I need to link back this last sentence into the circulatory system so let's take a look at how this happens the heart in the circulatory system then pumps blood containing digested food through the bloodstream see into the bloodstream through the bloodstream to all parts of the body which is used by the body cells for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide again respiration very important i hope you have come to understand that it is used in most of the questions for body systems without this process right uh I'm not very sure if you can get the marks that you need okay so I hope you understand this question now let's move on to the next question so for the next question I'm going to talk about how the respiratory and circulatory system work together and for this question there's actually two examples that I can give you okay so take a look at this how the respiratory and circulatory system work together so this question is very important so this is the example one okay so how does oxygen from the surrounding air reach different parts of the body so let's take a look at the answer so the answer is that the respiratory system takes in air from the surroundings which passes down the windpipe to the lungs where exchange of gases takes place Oxygen is absorbed through the air sacs in the lungs. Uh, I don't think you need to say air sacs, but this is just uh, for you to understand. But you really need to like uh, see this air sacs thing. Uh, if you are like in a lower, uh, if you are in a lower level, you might not need to mention this. Uh, but if you are at P6 right now, you need to mention this for PSLE exam if such questions appear. Okay. Uh, through the air sacs into the lungs uh, uh, in the lungs into the bloodstream okay if not if you are at a lower level like um, yeah you can just say through the lungs into the bloodstream okay so now let's take a look at the explanation for the circulatory system because the first explanation was for the respiratory system now we need to link it back into the circulatory system 
to complete this question. So the heart in the circulatory system then pumps blood containing oxygen through the bloodstream into the bloodstream through the bloodstream to all parts of the body. So this is how you link it, which is used for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide. So this is where it is very important to know the respiration process. Okay, so now let's move on to example number two. So this is the example number two over here. Let's, let's take a look at this question. And this is also very important. Just take note. So all the important questions, you have to remember it, okay? Uh, how does carbon dioxide released by the body gets removed? Okay, let's take a look at the answer for this question. So the answer is that the carbon dioxide from the body is then absorbed into the bloodstream and transported back to the lungs. Where exchange of gases takes place, carbon dioxide is then removed from the bloodstream at the lungs and is exhaled. Okay, so this is the answer, okay? So the carbon dioxide from the body is absorbed into the bloodstream and transferred back to the lungs, okay? Where exchange of gases takes place. You need to know the property, you need to know the, uh, sorry, the, the function of the lungs. Carbon dioxide is then removed from the bloodstream at the lungs and is exhaled. So this is how carbon dioxide gets removed, okay? So please do remember this. Now let's move on to the next segment of this video. So in this segment, I'll actually go through the next question, which is how does the skeletal and muscular system work together? Let's take a look at it. So how do they work together? So this is not an important question, okay? But just do take note of it in case it comes out for your exams. So, how do the muscular and skeletal systems work together for the body to move? Okay, let's take a look at the answer. The muscular system uses oxygen and digested food from the bloodstream for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide. Energy obtained from the respiration allows the muscles to contract, allowing the bones to move. Okay, so this is the answer. So, muscular system uses oxygen and digestive food from the bloodstream for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide. So energy obtained from the respiration allows the muscles to contract. So you need to know when the muscles contract, it allows the bones to move. Okay, so this is the answer. And this is the final question and the final segment of this video. And I hope you understand the, the concept map and all these important questions and this question that you still need to take note of. And if you realize something, all the answers that I gave actually links back to the concept map. So this is actually very crucial for you to understand. So you don't even need to memorize the answers. If you just uh, understand the concept map truly, you might actually be able to uh, understand all the answers for these questions. But still do read the answers carefully and understand it by heart. So now, uh, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you have understood that I've whatever I've taught you. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye